guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a really peachy look, hence all the peach everywhere else. Let's get this started. I actually did this look right here on the other day with all the new ColourPop Nectar collection. And you guys really, really, really wanted to see me recreate this and film it. I actually got tons of requests. So let's just go ahead and start painting. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna start with is this fresh, Fresh Face Instant Glow Luminizer. This is what it looks like. It comes out, it kind of reminds me of Max Strobe Cream, but I'm kind of liking this one a little more. So I'm just gonna pop it on and I'm gonna use this as my primer. And then I'm gonna take this MAC 108 brush and just kind of buff it into the skin. Ooh, look how pretty, it's like instant highlight. You don't have to use this brush. I just grabbed it because I didn't feel like using my fingers. You can use your fingers. It's just a moisturizer slash illuminator so you could wear this on on its own and it's so glowy that it kind of blurs imperfections i'm into it so while our moisturizer is sinking in i'm going to go ahead and do the eyes i'm going to use this soft matte complete concealer in the shade vanilla this is from nars this is the new nars one in the pot and i'm just going to use this as my eye base and i'm going to be taking it in through here too to brighten but we're also just gonna bring it all the way over on the eyelid. I've actually been using, using this as an eye primer and I'm really liking the results. So you guys definitely need to check this out. This is like an all-in-one concealer. It's really easy to work with. Definitely try this one. So I always like to set whatever eyeshadow base I use with a cream slash bone slash neutral color shadow. Today we're gonna be doing all color pop eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use this single one. This is called Hear Me Out. And I'm using a Sephora 38 brush, but you can use any brush for this. It's just a fluffy brush. So I just like to just go over, nothing precise here, just to make sure that our other eyeshadows are going to blend flawlessly. All right, so I'm taking this ColourPop Blow Me Away palette, and I'm taking a MAC 217, and I'm going to start to build color and definition with this shade right here, it's called Issues. So let's just hop right in. So this doesn't have any particular precision or anything. We're just going to run this color into the upper crease. And this is gonna be our, I guess our pre-transition color because I'm actually gonna use a lot of tones for this look. Luckily, most of them are in the palette, but this look is definitely about dimension. So the more shadows you add, the more dimension you're gonna have. So this is just gonna be our first transition color. And I'm taking it up pretty far because we're gonna bring our lid up pretty far. We're gonna cheat our lid, you guys. So if you have hooded lids, this is for you. Now I'm taking Centerfold and Slim Fit, and I'm just gonna mix these together on my MAC 217. And we're gonna pop this in our crease and start to build more dimension. So if you notice that I like to take the shadow in the deepest part of the socket first, I'm bringing it out. See, I'm recreating the lid shape I want. So when I shut my eye, it's technically in the deepest part, but we still wanna bring that up, and then we're gonna bring up our lid as well. It's so much easier to demonstrate than talk about it. But for right now, we're just gonna to start to buff these two colors and create our crease in here. Just keep blending. And I'm using small circular mo motions for right now. So I just wanna show you a little bit more that I do continue to build and build and build. So I'm still using the MAC 217, and I'm taking it in. I, when I'm first putting the product in, I'm putting it deep in the crease, and then I start to work it out, just like so. So I'm gonna take this little bit deeper shade, still in the same color family, but this one is a touch darker, and this is gonna go in our deeper crease to really start to define that cut crease. So we're just gonna pop this. I like to start, I guess, in the middle, and then I take it over to define the inner part. And then from there, I like to bring it out. And once I get all the product off of my brush in my crease, and I get it placed where I want it, then I start to do the small circles and bring it back up and blend it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this Dose of Colors Wing Liner Brush, and I'm gonna dip it into ColourPop Top Notch shake the, the extra product off. Okay, so now I'm going to take just the very tip of the brush and start to trace this out. Now don't worry if you don't get this perfect at first, because we're going to be blending this out. 
but we're just gonna start to create our crease. And if you notice, this is where my lid stops. Do you see that wrinkle there? Yeah, that's where we're supposed to stop it, but we're not stopping it there because we don't have to live that way. So we're just gonna bring this up and we're just gonna start to bring it out and give it that winged cut crease look. All right guys, so I'm eating a carrot. So if you see me chewing, I'm eating a carrot, I'm sorry. I'm in the bunny rabbit mode. So I'm gonna go back into cutouts in my Mac 217. And you see how not cute that line is? Watch it get cute. Oh yeah, we're getting cute again. So I'm just gonna lightly go back and forth to blend in this crease line. And we're gonna use one more color to deepen it. But we're about to hop in that. I usually, I like to do my liner and then I'll deepen the crease for the last time. So after this, we're gonna hop into liner. Hop, cause I'm a bunny, cause I eat carrots. <laughs> so I'm hopping into, why do I keep saying hopping? Cause going into, I'm just so tired of saying the same thing over and over again. We're gonna switch it from hop. So we're going to use this shade from ColourPop. It's called Going Rogue. It's from their new collection too. I actually, I use my finger first. So we're gonna tap our finger in there. I'm just gonna throw it on the lid. Just the inner part of the lid, guys. Just the inner part. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna hop right in. Ben, you need to get me under control. Pouncing. Pouncing, I love pounce. We're gonna switch to pouncing. So we're gonna pounce in here. And I'm just using an angle brush. And I'm just going to finish the rest with the angle brush. Just clean it up. We're still gonna go in with another lid color, so. Here we go. Now for the fun part. I'm using ColourPop Flipper, and I'm using my No Name Flat Brush. You can use a MAC 242 or any flat brush you have. It really doesn't matter. And we're going to start and pop it through here. We're not really gonna cover up a lot of that shadow we already put on, but we're just gonna start to cover up the middle. And then on the outer part, I'm telling you guys, there's way too many shadows went into this. I wanted to use the entire collection, but it's gonna be totally worth it. So just start to carve this out and correct any mistakes. And then what I like to do is I'll just go with my finger and then I'll just tap it on just in the center because you don't want to go up here and mess up the crease because our fingers are not that precise. Ooh, this is so pretty! Now I'm gonna go into this. This is actually a super shock cheek, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow. That's one thing I love about ColourPop. You can use their products like multi-use. So going into my No Name Flat Brush, I'm just gonna pop this on. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer part, just to about right there through here. It's just gonna add some more color on here. I mean, I wanna see how many colors I can fit on here. I still have to fit liner, and then I'm gonna deepen the crease with one more color, you guys. I'm out of control. But this is such a pretty look. I'm, I'm so glad that I, you guys like that. I know it's a lot of products, but it's gonna be worth it. Now I'm taking ColourPop Cloud 9 and my Dose of Colors Wing Liner Brush. I'm gonna get a little bit closer for this one, guys. Ben, tell me if this is in the shot. And I'm just going to start right here. And this, this color is really pigmented and dark, so be really careful when adding this one. Even if it takes you a little bit more time and you have to keep going back in, that's okay. And I'm just gonna take it to right there. And we're just gonna bring it out a little through here. And now I'm just gonna focus blending this upwards just a little bit. We just really want it to be deep through here so it can be a real cut crease. Now, if you guys know me at all, you know that I'm not gonna be finishing this look without my ColourPop tassel, my favorite inner corner highlight in the history of inner corner highlights. I left my MAC 228 brush at home. That's what I like to apply it with, but this Dose of Colors pencil brush will do. It's pretty good for this. So I just like to get it in there, wiggle it around, and make sure that our inner corner is blinding everyone. Ben is blinded right now. Okay guys, eyeliner time. I'm taking this dark, that bad bear, tart double-ended brush. I really like it a lot. I'm gonna go in on the straight side and I dropped a few drops of my Inglot Dura line in here. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and we're just gonna draw our wing. I'm not gonna go too in-depth because I'm about to film an in-depth, in-depth liner tutorial. But yeah, you guys get the gist of it. I'll teach you on my trip tips and I can't talk. Apparently liner makes me stutter. But I will do that video very soon so you guys can see everything. So if you ever see half my face is done and the other half isn't, that's because I'm filming Instagram tutorials. So like one side is Instagram, the other's for YouTube. 
just so you know. So I'm gonna be using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This is absolutely one of my favorites. And I love how it like adjusts to your skin. I'm also gonna be using a lighter concealer, so it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be matching. Not only that, my neck is always like three shades darker than my face. So I'm just going to pop this on real fast. Douglas is mad about something and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give in to what he wants. And this is a very full coverage foundation, so I'm not gonna be using as much as I normally would. Oh, he's crying. All right, that looks about good. Now let's blend it in. Such a difference. All right, let's blend in this side. I'm just using my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna work this into the skin. You, you guys know I take forever blending my foundation. Make sure you put it on your ears and then just bring it down the neck. Always gotta bring it down the neck. And just take your time when blending your foundation. We're really like working it into the skin. We're not just like moving it around on the skin. We're working it into the skin. And then around my eyebrows, I won't put any product, but I'll just take like from here and I'll just make sure I go around it. I'm not carving out my eyebrows. I'm just making sure we don't have any lines of separation. Here, that's about it. Got my Instagram side done, y'all. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using the shade Light. And as you can see, I'm not going light-handed with it because this is a full glam look. And then we're gonna take it here Draw little whiskers, and then down the nose. Oh yeah. Time to blend this out. Still using my damp beauty blender. I feel like my wings are a little um, not precise, but I'm actually gonna be smoking them out underneath so our wings don't have to be as precise today. So we're gonna finish underneath our eye after where we do our concealer. So I feel like I've been using this nonstop. This is the MAC Quick Trick Stick. It's like a double-ended contour, and this is the highlight end. I'm not a fan of the highlight end, but I love this end. It blends so good, and it's just like so convenient. It's so convenient. Too convenient. And then I just like to pop some under here, and then just a little around the neck. It's not crazy pigmented, but it is a little pigmented, so just don't, don't go ham on it. And we're just going to blend this out and show you how easily it blends. I mean, look at that. Ugh, so pretty. I missed a spot. We'll get back to that at a later date. So pretty. So I'm gonna use this powder to set underneath my eyes. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. And I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender with a cat hair on it. It has to have a cat hair or it's not gonna work apparently. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to bake, but I'm going to press this underneath my eye. We don't want to just have it sitting there, but we do want to work it into the skin. And I'm just going to put this through here and through here. I'm going to use another setting powder for the rest of my face. So let's just work this into this area that I like to keep extra bright. Just think about a circle around your face, just through here and that's where I wanna keep it bright. Everywhere else, we're just gonna use a normal setting powder. For the rest of the face, I'm gonna be using this Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna use what's ever on the lid, I mean, on the actual lid here, and I'm using a Sephora 91 brush, just a big, fluffy powder brush, and I'm just going to tap this into the skin. I love this brush because it's so soft. And notice I'm not pulling, I'm working, always working the product into the skin. Just make sure that you really set, okay, this is a good tip. Make sure you're always setting where you're gonna put your bronzer because we're still gonna use a little bit of powder bronzer. And the biggest thing I get is, why is my bronzer streaky? You're, after you do your cream, you're going to need to set that with a translucent powder to put your powder bronzer on top. That looks about right. So I've been highlighting before I do my bronzer and I wanted a peachy pink highlight. So this is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette and I'm just gonna go into pink opal here. And I'm using a Morphe R36. And we're just going to like make this all peachy pinky goodness. Oh yeah, th yeah, this is the party I was wanting. This is it. And then I'm just gonna take it above the brow. 
down the nose. Cupid's bow. I think I went into the purple one accidentally. Mm, I got excited. There we go. Time to finish under underneath the eye. I'm using ColourPop Cloud 9, the deep shade, the deepest shade we use in our crease. We're just going to start with that. We're going to connect it to our wing, kind of smoke it out a little. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to take this shade and line it all the way underneath. Don't worry about being precise. This is a smoky underneath the eye. I always like my lower lash line to be really smoky. And then I'm going to go back into, where did that shade go? Oh, cutouts. We've already used this shade too. Very lightly. And I'm using a dose of colors pencil brush. I'm not sure if I said that, but I just wanna make sure you guys know. And we're just going to buff this out and soften it a bit and connect it to here. Okay, so this bronzer book is limited edition, but honestly, the bronzers that I suggest you get are only two, and it's the Milk Chocolate and then the Chocolate Soleil bronzers, and that's literally the only two I use out of this entire thing, so don't feel bad. So I'm just gonna take my Joseph Colors Angle Contour, and I'm going to take this Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and now I'm just going to, notice I'm not rubbing, I'm pressing it into the skin. So we're just gonna press it into the skin, I'm gonna pick up some more and I'm gonna go under the cheekbone. Oh yeah. I just love how this warms up the skin and adds a little bit more dimension. I feel like makeup, I feel like this is a lot of products, but when you use certain things to layer, it builds dimension and it looks better than just using one product. It's all about dimensions in makeup. Keeping with the peachy theme, of course, I'm gonna be using this the Balm Cosmetics Balm Spring Blush. I absolutely love the Balm's blushes. So I'm just gonna take this Morphe R7, just a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna put that right on top of the highlighter and the bronzer. Just connect it, I like to put a little here, a little here, and a little there. So chaos has struck. I'm so mad. I forgot I wanted to use this, so I'm just gonna layer it on top. This is such a beautiful palette. I'm gonna use the highlight first. I'm using a Morphe R35, and I'm just going to load this on top of what we already got, and this is gonna add more dimension. Why not, right? Who doesn't want just a big old peach glow? I do. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I feel like this, this one right here could work on so many skin tones, because peach just, it's so flattering. All right, I'm gonna throw on the blush too. Let me grab my blush brush. Any fluffy brush, and I'm gonna throw on some of this too. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I'm happy. All right guys, I'm gonna throw on my Lily Lashes in the Style Lux. You can use my code XOXO Rose for a discount. Yes, you can. Boom. So before I apply my lipstick, I always use in one of the sugar treatment, lip treatments from Fresh. This one's actually new. This is the Sugar Lip Treatment Perfecting Wand. This one's actually easier for me and I love it. So I let it sit on my lips for a little while and it acts as like a really good primer so none of my matte lipsticks get too matte and crack. I absolutely love this stuff. So I always, always put this on before my lipstick. All right guys, so I'm gonna be taking this Ultra Satin Lip from ColourPop. This is from their new collection as well. This is called Likely, and it's just a pretty peachy nude. Extra peachy, my favorite color. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually had a lot of fun recreating this. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'm thinking about a wing liner tutorial. Also, if you wanna know where I get my turbans, I'm gonna have it pop up right here. Or somewhere around here, wherever Ben puts it. And I actually design and I sell these and you can buy them. And I think that's all I have. Yeah, so let me, guys, let, let me know what you guys wanna see next and make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much.